In this video, you're going to learn about the Autodesk 3DX Maya 2022 and we are going to learn about basic navigation, basic edit poly, and we will try to learn something more about the exporting and etc etc. Okay, so first you can see this is basically your editor panel where you make your models, you'll edit your models, you know, you do everything on this panels. So you can see there's a kind of like now they give you by default they give you four okay like four panel there's a different types of view one is top this is for front you find the uh words that what's uh, like what is the basically the view and this is your by default view where you can create kind of like a 3d stuff okay this this give you uh different types of angles because some of cases you must need some angles now if you want to make this thing in a full screen you can press the alt plus uh, L also you can use here you find here the shortcuts also oh, sorry that is all plus W so you can press all plus W and it become big also you can, if you press again this thing it's become small or minimize you can do the same thing for another uh, other panels okay so this is shortcut also you can do from match here the full screen or minimize okay now we are in the full screen now let's learn about the basics rotation moving and etc so for move your camera you need to just hold your middle mouse and then you can basically uh, move the sides okay also for move the camera or the rotate the camera if you want to rotate so you can press alt and by pressing middle mouse by then drag and drop left to right and you can basically move that okay that's great now Let's learn about how you can add some objects, kind of like basics, cubes, uh, cylinder, shapers in a chair. So as you can see that this give you option. This is basically a standard uh, blocks or basically they give you some object type, okay? Like some basics. So let's select the box. Once you select the box, you find that they give you some more information. Like the details about this box, like the length, wide, height, then lens uh, the size this is basically on the curves of age then generate mapping coders then also in the bottom side you find it the location of your object uh, and y location and z location so for making that box you will need to press or left mouse just hold that and you find the basically the x y and z the arrow then you can drag and uh, drag just like left or right okay it's very easy if you are doing first time it's maybe hard for you but once you use that one week to two week you find that wow navigation is uh, easy not so much hard okay now just saying that i want to make a cube like this thing okay that's fine now just just release your left mouse and you find that now you can basically move that object into up or down okay you can basically now adjust the height first time you can adjust the length and y that is basically the x y and second time you can basically adjust the height okay as you can see how i'm doing at here it's also changing at here the height is also it's changing the location so let's give it like this thing okay fine we have basically a simple cube but this is too big also you can see uh the accent uh this location okay like wherever is this thing okay so now enabling this moving or rotationing object you can find here the option this is for move this is for rotate this is for a scale okay if you want to move your object from scene so you can do by this thing also make sure do not do like this thing if you do like uh, if you don't select the x position okay currently the red line it will be basically you uh, get the grab mode so you can just grab thing anywhere okay so if you want to just move that object in the x-axis so you need to just make sure that you simply click on the x-axis and simply just drag okay that is simply that is similar in unreal engine also by pressing e you can basically rotate so that is pretty similar navigation like unreal engine by w pressing you can move the object by pressing e you can rotate that object so as you can see we can rotate the object in y x and z also you can see uh, find these values at here so from at here if you are we can change that values okay depends on situation if you want some of cases maybe you need because some of yes maybe your hand not adjusting very well so you can do it the values by pressing ctr plus z, uh, ctr plus z you can basically come back okay great 
now if you want to skill that so you need to press r by pressing r you can find a skill so there's some option available as you can see if you select by this thing it will be only increase a x and y and if you select the same thing in uh, z and y axis so it will be only change the skill in z and y okay it's not affect on x axis so make sure also if you want that it's only work on x okay like oh sorry on y so you can only just select the y and here you find a yellow line that it uh, basically giving direction you that how the object will be scale okay that's great i guess you understand basics of navigation okay now we have like this thing that's pretty great now we have a question that brother i have this thing that's great now how can i edit this uh, cube like how we do in a blender or some other uh, software like we can select the face face edge vertices how we can do and how i can also see that how much vertices on here or whatever it's basically the edge of triangle so at here you find uh, the default shading that is give you the default shading after then you find the edge if you press this thing you find edge curve vertices everything so if i enable this so i can also see the edge so as you can see there's uh, some edge you can see let's give it by default and let's disable that now for enabling edit poly you need to press right mouse and go to convert to and here once you press to convert to you find here that edit poly also you can get this option if you go to modifier and on the modifier press at here so you can add any type of modifier and let's search here that uh e d i t edit and here you find that edit poly by selecting this you can enable okay great let's enable okay once you enable you find here a box that is telling you that bro you are now edit poly that's great so as you can see by once you select the edit poly it automatically give us the vertex selection so we can select the vertex you can see then we found the edge by that we can select the edge then we found a basically a border basically we can choose that i'm not sure how much important is this but then we found the face selection by selecting that we can select the face if the arrow is not coming for you just press war so you find the basically the arrow for control by element you can basically select all of them okay you know just you know one place that is pretty great also if you go now just select this face and then if you go drown if you find some you find some more option kind of like extrude outliner bravel and there's basically some modifier tool if i select the extrude so as you can see they give you a point so if you now just drag like this thing left to right it can be go inside or outside that's great then go to insert if you press the insert it will be like this thing and then let's select again extrude and we can make like a hole or even anything okay we are basically creating a tv in this understanding then we found the bevel tool the bevel tool is basically uh if i select now and basically the bevel tool have some more modification like i can do that and then i can just you know make it some smoother okay like that now it's totally looking like a mac a oven that's great okay then we found the bridge the bridge is basically connecting one object to another object like thing that if if you want to delete that face so you can press by selecting that face you can press the tail it will be delete that face now you have a question the bro if i want to fill up this uh thing how can do so by the, if you want to do that you need to select first of all the edge so just select one edge then press ctrl then select another edge okay uh sorry uh oh sorry you need to press the uh control or the ctrl okay then just simply press on the bridge and once you press the bridge you find that it will it's basically give a bridge like it will basically march or join that okay and then there's some more modifier available by selecting face uh you can do okay like there's a lot of also you can find here there's some a, a cube or a box type option by that you can basically do with the values like if you want to do everything with the values so you can do that okay so just once you if you think that okay it's good for you so you can tick tick and it will be work so we can also do it a scale like if i select all i can do the scale okay that was pretty much great now let's learn that 
uh, if I want to join two objects in a one, how can I do that? Basically, meaning I'm meaning that uh, first of all, before do that, we need to come from the modifier. Okay, so just think that I want to uh, first thing that we want to duplicate this thing. How we can do? So basically, the shortcut is just select your keyboard that shift, left shift, even you can select the right shift, and simply drag in any axis. Once you select that, uh, just then you find a copy instance and reference so we are giving that a copy and then the, you can find the name whatever you want to give the another box name so let's give it the box name too that's great we have one and two now if i have question that bro how can i join these two objects in a one part so for do that you need to first, first select this thing then go to modifier and if you scroll down some okay make sure you're gonna add it fully uh, and then if you scroll down there's a option is called attach like this thing just simply click on the attach and then select this second box and it will be now attached with this thing now just simply just disable your attach box and here now with this one object you are basically you can control the two objects basically that two uh, box is joined with each other okay that is totally great now just think that uh you know i'm not sure what i can show you more but let's go to edit poly then there's a lots of thing available the cut okay the smooth age okay there's a my eyes uh, max is a totally big engine kind of like you find lots of stuff kind of like it's not engine basically it's software but you find lots of things actually to do now let's learn about the materials bro how can create the materials okay like how can basically do the materials all set up by default you can see it's giving you a material but this is not a actual material if you export this model right now in unreal engine or any other software uh, or a game engine if you see that uh, let me show you with practical that the material will not show okay so for example i'm just opening my this uh, unreal engine 4 projects okay you can also check my uh, game development tutorials also so for example i make as you can see i make them all models with the max okay so let's go first of all in a map uh, kind of like a standard map you can go there okay this is a great place to show you all show stuff okay so as you can see i'm at here so now if i create a folder and let's give it name m and now also let's learn that how you can basically export this thing so for exporting this thing we have two options one if you press on file then click on export they give you two options that one is export that is basically export your all this stuff whatever in your scene the second is only export the selected object kind of like uh let me show you if i create another box okay kind of like it here okay now if i just select this thing if i click on file then export and selected export so it will only export these two objects not this one so if i let me just export this thing in anywhere like in my download folder and just go to your download folder oh my god there's a lot of file even i can't find so i'm just going in my music folder and just give it the file name uh basically going to etc file name that is basically the m1 and just give it name m1 then click on save and then they give you like this thing so you can select the binary and make sure they select the version 2020 then click on ok so now you can see that in max it's showing that there's a material called name box one it's showing but now if i click on input game and i'm just import let me just import this thing okay by default it's creating material and input all you can see it's giving me the model okay it's giving me the model okay that is too big but it's giving me model but the issue is it doesn't give me any of kind of like material okay because this is a not a actual material for the game we need to create it manually so for creating materials in manually we need to press m by pressing m we can we are basically activating the material uh, graph okay also you can open the material graph from at here uh, this there's a material option material editor you can also enable but that is uh, basically the shortcut okay if you press m the materials will be on so in the materials there's a uh, two more panels available one is standard and then one is this thing that is standard that is basically to uh, if you're a super beginner so that uh, help you to basically create simple basics models 
but if you want to create a advanced level models that which have uvs and agcs so you need to use this material graph okay that's give you more feature kind of like normal map including normal map you can add image and lots of more okay let's create a pbr material so for creating that first of all as you can see that does give you lots of things so here we let's select the pbr material and simply just drag drop once you drag and drop you find the base color okay so format here you can see the base color you can control the base color even uh, if you want so let's give it a green color even let's give it a mm, i'm just giving it like that and you find here the preview basically even you can find preview at share also okay simply click on okay so here you find a preview now if you want to use that material how so at here by come just simply minimize that and select your object and here you find a uh, basically a button okay why is that good first of all let me select this thing okay then you need to select basically the material also the material parameter what you create then here you find this button that is for assign that material so if you press that so as you can see that its color has been changed okay and oh let me show sorry so its color has been changed and here you can see that it's working now if i click on save uh, i'm not save i'm not want to save this project just simply selecting on export selected export selecting that same models and click on save okay so it's basically replacing that and come in and real engine and now if i delete that I'm just uh, it's just deleting some of cases it can be take time because i'm really in import then click on again and i'm doing the same process just import all but as you can see for this thing it's giving you material some of cases the material will be not work okay but you find a material for block so by this thing you can basically uh you know basically create okay so now if i open that i can control that material from unreal engine also because that is a basically material so save here my model is at here in, from max to uh, in unreal engine okay now we already learn about this thing and in next video we will be learn about the basically how you can basically use the image okay the texture image okay i like how you can use the image and etc mode so i guess you understand how you need to do that uh i can basically do anything else also so thank you so much for watching us love you all bye bye and see you in the next video okay